Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I have with me the new M4 iPad Pro 2024 and in this video I am going to show you how to use this iPad with the new Apple Pencil Pro. So let's start. The first tip is about drag and drop images from different sources to your notes. For example, I open my notes and here I will start taking notes using my new Apple Pencil Pro. Now for example, I want some images in these notes. So I will swipe up like this to open the dock and then from here I will press and hold this Safari browser and I will drop here in the split screen. Now you can see I search some images on Google. For example, I like this image and now I want this image in my notes so I will use my Apple Pencil Pro I will press and hold it like this and I can easily drag and drop this image into my notes and later if you want you can also edit it the next thing is now there is a new feature in Apple Pencil Pro you just have to bring it closer to the screen and then just squeeze it like this it will open this tool palette and then from here you can select any tool Okay, for example, I select this pen tool and then from here I will change the color. Now I can also do the labeling for this image. The next thing is you can also drag images from photos to your notes. For example, I will open this photos app in the split screen and now here you can see, for example, I like this image and now I want only this part of image in my notes. So what I will do, I will use my Apple Pencil Pro. I will press and hold it like this and then I can only drag and drop this image part and then later if you want you can also edit it as well. The next thing is same way you can also drag and drop text from a website to your notes. So here I open this website and now for example I want this text into my notes. So first of all I will start making this selection using my Apple Pencil Pro. So I will start selecting from here and then I will select it till here. Now again I will press and hold it like this and I can easily drag and drop this text to my notes and later if you want you can also add edit it and you can also use other tools for example if you want to use this highlighter tool you can use this highlighter as well the next step is about save web page as a PDF file. For example, I open this website and now I want to save this website as a PDF file. So first of all, I will select this reader mode option. It will open the simplified version of the same website with text and images only. Now I will use my Apple Pencil Pro and then I will swipe from this corner. So I will swipe it like this. It will take the screenshot. The next thing is you have this option of full page. So you can select this full page option. So now it will take the screenshot for full page. The next thing is you can also bring your Apple Pencil Pro closer to the screen just squeeze it like this it will open the tool and then you can select any tool for example I select this pen now you can write on it okay and now for example if you want to highlight something important you can also use this highlighter option as well once you finish with your annotations you can select this share icon and here you have this option of save to files so you can select it and then it will save to your files as a PDF. The next step is about lock screen notes access. For example, your iPad is locked and you are in a hurry and you want to write something important. So just tap on the screen one time like this with your Apple Pencil Pro. It will open the Apple Notes and here you can write anything important. Whatever you write here, it will automatically save in your Apple Notes and later you can access it. The next tip is about stage manager for multitasking. For example, I open Safari app and then I will bring down this panel and then from here I will select stage manager. Now you can see on this corner I have this resize option available. So I can easily resize this app and then I can also change its position on my screen. Now you can see I also have other apps available on this side. So I will bring them one by one. So I will bring uh, this noteful app and then I will put it here and I can also resize this app as well. 
the next app that I will bring is this photos app so I will just drag and drop it like this and then I will bring this good notes app so I will just put it over here like this so you can see I have four different apps open on my screen now I can use all of these four apps together so for example if you want to bring some data from this app to your notes you can also do it for example you like some image on your photos you just select it and you can also drag and drop it here on your notes the next thing is for example i will open another app from my stage manager the ipad will remember my workspace arrangement so here you can see these four apps are here so i can just select it and these four apps will open together so this is how you can use a stage manager for multitasking the next thing is you can open up to four apps like this on your screen the next tip is about reading so you can use apps like apple books or kindle for reading you can also change the theme if you want to read for a longer period of time just tap on the screen and then from here select tools and then from here select themes and settings and then you can set it to calm so you can see the color temperature is changed now you can read for a longer period of time the next thing is you can also use your apple pencil pro if you want to highlight anything important on your book the other thing is if you find something interesting and you want to share it you can also take the screenshot with your apple pencil pro so just swipe from this corner so just swipe it like this it will take the screenshot you can also do annotations so just bring your apple pencil pro closer to the screen just squeeze it like this it will open this tool palette you can select any tool from here for example if you want to write something you can write on this book if you want to use the highlighter you can use the highlighter you can change the color from here and then you can highlight any important text and once you finish with your annotations you can select this share icon and then you can share it in different platforms the next tip is about add text to notes for example you are scrolling through a website and you find some interesting information and you want to save it so use your apple pencil pro and start highlighting the text so i will highlight this text till here now you can see we have this option of new quick note so just select this option it will add the same text to your apple notes now how to access it here you can see we have this arrow so you can just just drag it like this and here you can see the same text is now available in my apple notes now for example if i close my internet browser and then i will take out my apple notes and then i will tap on this link it will open the same website with the same highlighted text the next thing is you can also edit this text in your apple notes you can also use picture in picture option for watching youtube videos or netflix so you just have to swipe it like this it will open the video in this mode and you can also change its position on your screen as well you can also open other apps for example i open this note taking app now i can also take my notes and i can also watch this video i can also put this video on this side like this and then if you want to take it out you can just select this arrow and your video will appear on your screen one more thing i want to mention here is below this video you see this like button if you press it like this it will change its color you can try this experiment the next tip is about study focus so if i bring down this panel and then from here i will select focus and then i will select study so it will change the home screen with widgets and apps that are only related to my studies and i will not receive any notification from any other app so i can fully focus on my studies so how to enable and customize this study focus mode first of all go to settings and then from here select focus and then from here select this plus icon and then you can select this first option of custom okay and then you can give it any name for example i will give it a name of exam okay and then from here you can select any color and then you can select any icon and then select next okay and then select customize focus and then here you can do all your customizations
The next tip is about widgets. So guys, you can add variety of useful widgets to your home screen and lock screen and you can interact with these widgets as well. So you can add daily trackers, reminders and habit trackers as well. So here you can see I can interact with these widgets. I can also lock my iPad and here you can see on my lock screen I also have some widgets. So how to add these widgets? First of all, you have to press and hold on your home screen and then from here you see we have this plus icon so you have to select it and then here it will show you all widgets you can directly add widgets from here the next thing that I want to mention here is about positioning of these widgets. For example, my iPad Pro is now in landscape mode and I will change it to the portrait mode. So these widgets will go according to their default positions. But I want to change their position for portrait mode. So first of all, I will move this widget and I will bring it down over here. And then I will also change the position of this widget and I will bring it over here and I will also change the position of this widget. Now iPad Pro will remember this position for the portrait mode but if I move my iPad Pro to the landscape mode it will go to its normal position but if I change it to the portrait mode it will go according to the new position that I set. The next tip is about quick notes. So if you are in a hurry and you want to write something important, use your Apple Pencil Pro and then just swipe from this bottom right corner. So you can just press and hold it and then just swipe it like this. It will open the Apple Notes and here you can start writing anything important. The next thing is you can open any other app. For example, here I open this browser and then for example, here I search some websites. Now if you want to insert insert the link of this website to your notes you can also do it use your apple pencil pro just press and hold on the link like this and then you can easily drag and drop this link on your notes same way you can also drag and drop the url so i will press and hold it like this and i can also drag and drop this url to my notes and later if you want you can also open it directly from your notes the next thing is you can also bring any data from your notes to any other app. For example, I will open this Noteful app and then I will take out this Apple Note. Now I will select this tool option from here and then I will select this selection tool. So I will select this handwriting. So I will select it using my Apple Pencil Pro and now I will press and hold it like this and I can drag and drop it to the other note taking app and later I can use it. The next tip is about stack apps, images and files. So for example, you want to bring some of these apps to the next page. You just press and hold on one app like this and then start selecting the other apps. So here you can see I will start selecting other apps and they will stack together. Okay, and then you can easily move it to the next page or wherever you want to move these apps. The next thing is same way you can also stack images in your photos. Now let's talk about new Apple Pencil Pro features. The first feature is about squeeze. So if I bring my Apple Pencil Pro closer to the screen and then I will squeeze on this part. So I will just squeeze it like this. It will open this tool palette and then I can make my selection. So here you can see I can select any of these tools. If I press on one of these tool, so here it will give me more options. So here you can see I can change the opacity and I can also change the thickness and then I can work on my note taking app or you can also use it in different drawing apps. The next thing is for example, if I bring my pencil pro closer to the screen, I will squeeze it again. Here I also have this undo option. If I press and hold on this undo option and then I can easily slide like this so here you can see so this is really really amazing so this will be really helpful in your note taking and it is also helpful in your drawing the next feature is about barrel roll so if i squeeze my apple pencil pro and then from here i will select this calligraphy pen and now i will bring my pencil pro closer to the screen and i will rotate the barrel so here you can see i will rotate the barrel so you can see the shape of this calligraphy pen will also change so this will be really helpful in your drawing so here you can see i can put it like this and then i will use it in other way as well okay and 
then for example i will bring it closer so here you can see on the screen it will also change the shape you can also do it for other tools as well so i will just squeeze my apple pencil pro it will open this tool palette and then from here for example i select this highlighter and then i will select again and then i can change the thickness and i can also change the opacity now i will bring my pencil pro closer to the screen and you can see when i am moving my barrel the shape for the highlighter also change okay and then for example i can draw it like this and i can move it and i can draw it like that and i can also see the position okay so here you can see i can also draw it like this so this will be really really amazing the next new feature is about shadow so if you bring your apple pencil pro closer to the screen it will cast a shadow of this pen on your screen if you want to disable it you can also disable it from settings so how to customize the apple pencil pro features first of all go to settings and then from here scroll down and here you can see you have this option of apple pencil so here you can customize all the features for apple pencil pro the next tip is about note taking so you can use apps like noteful and here you have all the necessary tools for note taking you can also use good notes you can also use notability if you want to use the infinite canvas option you can use free form and inside free form you can also insert videos so i will select this image option i will select photos or videos and then you can select any video for example i will select this video and then i will add it and now i can also take my notes okay so here i can write using different tools i can also insert different images so i can insert any image okay and i also have the infinite canvas option so here you can see i can easily move anywhere on my screen and i can also use other tools as well the next tip is about background sounds so just bring down this panel select this hearing icon select background sounds and then you can play it from here you can make your selection so we have bright noise dark noise ocean rain or stream so once you finish with your selection you can open any other app for example i open this note taking app you can take your notes and you can also listen to that background sound so how to enable this background sound first of all go to settings and then you have to scroll down select accessibility and then inside accessibility you have to scroll down and here you can see we have this option of audio and visual so you can select it and then select background sounds from here if it is disabled you can enable it from here and then you can also change different background sounds from here so this is for today's video please subscribe to my channel thank you very much